Hi, Saber Spruce here, back with our answer to Dementia's New Game Minus 4 video, episode 16. And it's been like a day or two since last episode, and um, a few things, oh, a few, maybe, I'm, yeah, I was going to say a few things are different, but not really. I mean, I am on a bit of a longer run here, 3 galaxies, 10 dimension boosts, but I think the big thing what I'm going to try to go for here is this upgrade. Tick speed boosts give 32 free tick speed purchases each. Because I'm, since I'm on a longer run, this should allow me to get more antimatter, or just the tick speed boosts are going to be more powerful, which will allow me to get more antimatter. So here we go. This upgrade is going to be nerfed. It looks like it was nerfed by about half. Um, it's okay because I'm, I'm thinking the, the boosted tick speed boosts are going to more than make up for it. Because. I'm not exactly sure how much more powerful the Tixie boosts are, but I think they're like about twice as powerful. So maybe like all dimensions are multiplied by two um, before dilation nerfs um, with each tick speed boost. Or like not not just with each tick speed boost, it's just like with each like boosted tick speed boost versus the, the, the regular tick speed boost. I know, I'm, I'm probably speaking gibberish, but whatever. The well, Sekbreed isn't really all that powerful, but it does something like... I, I feel like I don't think it was this easy to get 50 8th Dimensions before. So, it could just be um, this upgrade being more powerful than ever before. So, I also just need E56 Antimatter to get this Time Dimension Shift. I know it's safe to get 6 Tick Speed Boosts, not sure if it's safe to get seven, but it, yeah, it's not the most exciting thing. It's it's something that definitely helps, but it's not like the most exciting thing. It's not all that powerful. It, it's okay, but it's not that powerful. One thing I do need to get when I get the opportunity is this achievement. I have exactly 99 eighth dimensions, which is... Like, I'm getting close. I think the highest I've gotten is, like, 70. So, I'm, I'm getting there. And the, the reward is 8th Dimension or 10% stronger. That's not the big one. And then the big one is, and you gain more galaxy points based on your 8th Dimensions and Tick Speed Boosts. So, I'm, I don't I, I don't know how powerful it is. I think it's somewhere around double. Like, it, it doubles the galaxy points. It also makes Tick Speed Boosts useful. The other one, the other good one is this one, but I'm nowhere near it. Um, I mean, maybe... I'm at E54, and this is 7C. So, yeah, there's not really much I can do. I think I'm just going to wait this out, try to get more Ace Dimensions, perhaps get a fourth galaxy, if possible. Not quite sure if it's possible to do that, but maybe it is. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and um, you may notice something weird. It's because, yeah, it's a voiceover right now instead of an actual uh, live thing because the audio didn't record for some reason. So anyway, I got the third galaxy, and I and I am turning on the Dimension Boost Auto Buyer. I I think what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to see if this gives me any more galaxy points than before. Because I, th I think I'm trying to experiment with the um, galax with one of the galaxy upgrades, like the one that, you know, the one that buffs tick speed boosts. So, you can see, with four galaxies, I can get, I think, all the way up to, like, 11 tick speed boosts without a resetting other things. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for doing a voiceover rather than doing a live session, just because... The audio stupidly did not record, so yeah, it's it's just a bug. It's it's a, with a few other videos as well. So yeah, anyway, nine dimension boosts. Um, I'm noticing that it's not really. I'm not getting as far as I think I think I will. Like I'm 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 getting pretty easily to fifty eighth dimensions, but not much more than that. So. Yeah, it's not really going to give many, many galaxy points here. So, I, I, I am getting some time dimension boosts, but I'm, you just notice that 
it's only 200, that's 300 galaxy points, but I think I had like 360 before. It does buff this upgrade though, the one that I'm pointing to with my mouse. So at least that is one positive of pushing this far in a single galactic sacrifice run. So I think the best option here is to just keep doing short runs. I keep overhyping long runs. I mean, I guess it's useful to do the occasional long run after getting a few upgrades because um, it will allow me to get more, like increase the galaxy point multiplier. But yeah, I think I'm just, I've just been debating over like certain upgrades, like if I actually want that upgrade, because you can see I have about, um, that's probably about 1500 galaxy points in hexadecimal notation. Um, oh yeah, I'm finding an optimal galaxy run right now. That, that's what I'm doing. So the optimal run um, I'm finding out is 55 galaxy points. So you can see, I think it's just two galaxies, three time dimension shifts, or oh no, six time dimension shifts, and it's just rinse and repeat. It's pretty boring to do it. It's, it's not a lot slow, but it's just a little boring to do it actively like this. So, yeah, there's not much else I can do here. Um, potentially could try to go for a challenge, but um, maybe, maybe not really. Also, I'm just getting one thing here because I just want the automation of dimension boost to be a little faster. So, yeah, I'm just getting, I think I go up to, I think actually the optimal way is to go up to seven dimension boost. I, I wait here for seven and with that I can actually get 60 galaxy points. So, that means the optimal galaxy points to galactic sacrifice at is 60, not 55. So let, let's see what my galaxy points per minute can reach because I'm actually not sure it is. I don't remember. So let's see, it's 167, it's probably going to be even more, 181, and it's, you see 199, so it's probably somewhere around 180 to 200 galaxy points per minute. So that's pretty good. Um, the upgrades cost 1,000, so that should take no more than 6 minutes to get for each upgrade. It is 6 active minutes though, so yeah, that's... It's a little, that's disappointing that it just has to be active. And unfortunately, runs cannot be fully automated because um, of challenge, um, challenge 2 and 6 have not been completed. Or maybe it's like 2, I think it's 2 and 6. I, I know it's definitely 2. And I'm not sure if 6 is in there or not. But anyway, like this, like it, it will prevent full automation of runs because I need to get second dimensions to buy third dimensions. Which I need to get up to like eighth dimensions, except it's not auto buying second dimensions. So, what what I'm doing here is I'm just pressing M. And the thing is, like maybe if the M key was held the entire time, I could automate runs. But um, yeah, I, I I think I'm just right now. I'm just okay. Now I'm checking achievements. There's no achievements I can get. I'm getting closer to the ninth dimension as a lie, and. They, there's no point in doing that, which are, which have good rewards. So, yeah, let's see if this run is any faster. No, no, it's not faster. It's only 150 galaxy points per minute. It's probably just because I'm less efficient. I think what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to debate if I want to get some of these upgrades or not. Because some of them, like the the yellow one, I don't know why one's yellow and one bl one's blue. Like, I could, I think they're both same sort of thing but the thing is they're based on unspent galaxy points so yeah that that means that i can't really you know when i buy those upgrades they'll be less effective than what it says right here i don't think i think if i got the blue one it would just do nothing and i'm not exactly sure how powerful the yellow one is i think um i do think the yellow one is more powerful than the blue one so yeah i'm definitely going to try to get that um, soon. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.